Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to subtly enhance someone's smile in Photoshop using the Puppet Warp tool. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have files to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So a lot of times when people need to morph facial features, they automatically reach for the Liquify filter, but usually the Puppet Warp tool is the better choice. So here's a photo of our super hot model who's obviously perfect in every way, and I really hope my wife is watching this, but let's say that we wanted to ruin perfection and give her a little bit more of a smile. The first thing that we're going to do is make a selection around her mouth. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and just draw a selection around the mouth, leaving a little bit of space around the lips. Then I'm going to come up and click refine edge and I'm going to increase the smooth slider to smooth that selection a little bit. And lastly, I'm going to feather it by about 10 to 12 pixels and hit OK. Then I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate our layer using that selection. So if I hide the background, you can see our new layer here. Next, I'm going to right click that new layer and convert it to a smart object. And then I'm going to come up and click Edit Puppet Warp. Now you'll see that the Puppet Warp tool has added this weird grid around the lips. And what this tool allows us to do is place pins on our image and then warp these pins to different positions without affecting the rest of our image. So to place these pins, all I did was move my mouse to each spot and click once. So now you can see if I click and drag on one of these pins that I can morph the smile without affecting the rest of my image. So all I'm going to do is move these outer pins out a little bit and up to curve the smile up. Then when I hit enter and zoom out, you can see the before and the after. It's a really subtle effect, but can make a big difference in your image. Now, since I converted this layer to a smart object before using the Puppet Warp tool, you can see that it's been added as a smart filter. So now I can always double click my Puppet Warp smart filter and go back in and make adjustments without having to start over from the beginning. Lastly, I'm just going to nudge that mouth layer up a pixel or two, because obviously when you smile, your whole mouth moves up a little bit. So again, here's the before and here's the after. The Puppet Warp tool is really fun and effective when you want to adjust things like individual facial features. You can use it for everything from subtle retouches like in this example, or make some more dramatic changes like if you were working on a caricature or something. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.